Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Since the Paleolithic era, dogs have been faithful and loving companions to humanity. Being the oldest domesticated animals in history, it comes as no surprise that man's best friend has been featured in countless myths and legends. But some of the most famous tales of dogs come from paranormal and scary stories, portraying them as ghostly figures, eerie beasts associated with the night and heavy storms haunting rural regions and deserted areas, appearing as if from nowhere and then vanishing without a trace. If one were to encounter a spectral hound, whether solitary or in a group, more often than not, the result would be disastrous, even deadly. No one knows exactly where the concept of ghost dogs comes from, as many cultures have associated dogs with death and the afterlife. Perhaps the legends of hellhounds, guardians of the underworld such as Cerberus from Greek mythology, or Garm of Norse mythology, had a hand in perpetuating the ghost dog myth. Whatever the origin, legends of ghost dogs are told all over Europe, namely in various parts of England, as well as the United States. Unlike many other monsters of legend, who often have outlandish and frightening appearances, a ghost dog looks like an ordinary dog, making them appear unassuming and even safe to approach. However, nearly all accounts depict them as being notably large in size, with fur as dark as night, and eyes that glow like embers. As they are non-corporeal, Ghost dogs are not subject to the laws of nature or physics. They leave no paw prints, can appear and disappear in the blink of an eye, may pass through solid objects or hover in the air. Weapons of any kind were said to pass through them with no effect, yet they may be capable of scratching people, animals, or property with their claws, leaving a scorching burn on anything that it touches. Animals are said to be sensitive to their presence. Horses and mortal dogs, in particular, are said to react defensively or even violently when their presence is sensed. These spectral hounds have been sighted on many lonely paths at night or at twilight, in both forests and fields, as well as cities, crossroads, churchyards, and cemeteries, usually alone but occasionally have been said to hunt in pairs, or even packs. What is different about the many incarnations of these canine apparitions is just what exactly happens should one come face to face with them. First and foremost, the ghost dog is most often seen as a harbinger of doom. Misfortune or tragedy is almost guaranteed to befall the person whose path they cross. The hanging hills of Meriden, Connecticut are said to be haunted by a black dog, and if people were to see it on more than one occasion, they would be seriously injured in a calamity such as a tree falling on them, a sudden avalanche or the path giving out from under them, or even getting in a car accident after leaving the trail. From Yorkshire and Northern England, comes tales of the bar guest, a spectral black hound the size of a small bear, with eyes burning red, and the ability to change its shape into that of a headless man or a woman, or into a rabbit or a cat, a horse, or some other animal. When a person saw the bar guest in its canine form, it was believed that the person who saw it would die shortly thereafter. Also in the Yorkshire area comes a story of a headless dog who haunts the Ivlet Bridge, howling at night 
and leaping from the bridge and into the water. Reports claim that all who see this phantom will die within one year's time. Though ghost dogs are mostly seen as bad omens, there are more than a few stories that depict them as legitimate threats to people that they encounter. Such is the case of one called Padfoot, rarely seen but heard padding around the forest trails, alley streets and crossroads with the sounds of a chain trailing behind him and occasionally emitting a sound no earthly creature could make. Those who try to make contact with it, either verbally or physically, were said to be dragged and then mauled to their death. In El Dorado Canyon in Colorado lurk the Hell Dogs, ghosts of dogs who were trained to guard claim sites in the mines and to attack any who approach. Urban legends of explorers in the area being cornered, clawed, and even chased while driving have been spread throughout the country. In St. Germans in East Cornwall, roams Dando's dogs, a pack of spectral hounds who race through the village just before dawn and run down any that they find, dragging the poor soul to hell. And then there is Black Shuck, perhaps the most demonic and malevolent of the ghost dogs, who haunts English coastlines, lonely country roads, rural cemeteries, marshlands, and even train tracks. Whereas others of his kind tend to resemble actual dogs, if not abnormally large ones, Black Shuck is as large as a donkey, with a wild, shaggy coat, a mouth full of prominent, sharp teeth, and eyes that glow like hellfire. Though seen as a death omen, Black Shuck enjoys being the cause of death, with one legend from August 4th of 1577 describing Shuck ransacking St. Mary's Church in Bungay, killing a man and a young boy as they prayed, and wreaking havoc upon the altar, before moving on to another church in Blytheborough where its bloodshed continued. It is said that both churches still bear the scars of Black Shuck's claws. But not every ghost dog is a death omen or a vengeful spirit. There are some legends of ghost dogs acting as protectors and guardians of sacred places and wayward travelers. One story from Swarcliffe related how a man traveling alone in the woods was followed by a black dog until he had emerged from the trees. And when he turned around, the dog was nowhere to be found. Years later, he had learned that a pair of criminals had intended to mug and murder him, but elected not to when they saw the large black dog in his company. The church Grimm found in both English and Germanic folklore, is the protector of churches and hallowed ground, guarding the grounds and the devout followers from Satan and his followers, both mortal and demon alike. Even some ghost dogs who have reputations as harbingers of doom or as savage monsters can have stories told about them in a protective light, such as Guy Tra, also called Shag Fole. The guy tra is normally one for leading travelers astray, perhaps deeper into the woods or even into a deep marsh or over the side of a cliff. But there are just as many instances of the guy tra coming to those who are lost in the countryside and guiding them to safety. Man's best friend has played a number of roles in mythology and folklore. But some of the most enduring in Western Europe and the United States feature them as a ghostly presence, black as pitch with glowing eyes and an ominous tone. Some like the bar guest are there to herald the oncoming of misfortune or death. Others like Black Shuck are hellbent on chaos and bloodshed 
inflicting it upon those that they come across. And then there are some like the Church Grimm, who exists to serve as protectors and guides. Regardless of their intentions or how they may manifest, ghost dogs remain one of the most popular and enduring paranormal folktales. And to this very day, reports of ethereal black dogs in dark places who seem to vanish as quickly as they appear without a trace continue to be told throughout the world.